Hey everyone, welcome back to the Colonel Channel. I'm your self-proclaimed commander, Lieutenant Colonel Lee R. Wolfgram. I'm also a criminal defense attorney here in Minneapolis, and I'm coming to you from the Wolfgram Worldwide Headquarters, and I have a treat for you. Last time, the last video I made, I made a video and I entitled it, Don't Be a Dumbass, as I start a new series where I'm going to highlight things that you shouldn't do that would indicate that you're a dumbass. So in the last episode, uh, I kind of started the series, but in this episode, we have an entitled dumbass. This is someone who believes that their relationship should get them treated differently than other people. Okay, so I won't talk a lot about now because you'll just be able to see for yourself, but you will see this person makes it worse. Instead of just shutting their mouth, cooperating with the police, and calling a lawyer at the first opportunity, she decides to take this tactic. Get in there! That's enough. Stop! That's enough! Now knock it off! I'm not going to tell you again! You're going to knock it off! You're not going to come out here and kick one of my Thank deputies! You. Thank you. Are you going to stop? You. Or are you going Thank to you stop? For the evidence! The conscious effort to try to put this car back in drive or turn it on, I run around, I grab the baby. And then I ran right up to her mom and I was like, take the baby. So I don't know why you think you're above the law because who you're dating. On September 5th, 2023, officers responded to a call reporting a female driving erratically. The caller told dispatch the driver had almost crashed into his vehicle and was rearing between lanes. The vehicle was spotted turning at an intersection, almost hitting the driver. Oh, by the way, everyone has cell phones. Everyone will call in a drunk driver. Someone will. They all have the ability to. Keep that in mind. The sheriff's office responded to the scene where Hobbs PD was already speaking with the driver. Yeah. All right, so uh, we got a call for a 47. Uh, it was a black SUV with that license plate number. So the vehicle was... Uh, she scratched me to hell. Uh, that comment, she scratched me to hell. Oh, by the way, that is a felony. In Minnesota, that is called fourth degree assault. And it is a felony. So, score one felony. The vehicle is uh, parked right here. Okay. So, I parked down there by the key energy to okay. try to see the vehicle pull out so I can get observations of the vehicle because we had a caller that didn't want contact. So, um, at that time, our. Uh, Somebody said that it, it may be a conflict for us. And then at that time, my mod pulled up next to her. And the mod pulled up next to her. I'll just give you a little background. The reason why it's a conflict for this agency is because the sergeant of that agency is the significant other of the defendant. Uh, she took off driving, uh, went uh, southbound, and then kind of hit the curb real hard, almost hit in that fence. And then a mod blocked her in. And then that's when I pulled up next to her. Um, Eighteen on the way. Get this mother out of me. Oh, by the way, that is her significant other, the sergeant. Car. One step out. Get out. Dispatch, can we get an ETA on county? That's right, step out of the car. Where is the now? 18 is 97. Almost struck the fence. That's right, step out of the car. Huh? Well, my name is Officer Solomon with the Hospital Police Department, okay? The reason I'm making contact with you is because we got a call in that you're intoxicated driving, okay? Obviously, when I saw you, you just drove onto a curb and almost struck a fence, okay? So I'm going to need you to step out. Okay? Did you take the keys out? You can stay in the car. Just give me your key fob. Where's the key fob, girl? 
Do you have it on you? No. There it is. Oh my, really? You, you're not getting any, any, because who you know, it don't matter, okay? You know it's against, a, against the law to be driving under the influence, correct? It's not the key problem. Okay, you do know that, right? So I don't know why you think you're above the law because who you're dating. You're going to get out of the car, I'm going to have to tip, pull you out. Okay, okay, we're not playing a game like you did with the other officers. Okay? Are you going to get out of the car? What game are you playing? I'm not playing any game with you. Are you going to get out of the car? Yes or no? No. Okay. Out on really? Yeah, really. really? Oh, what the f You're going to listen. Yeah. You don't get any favors because who you're dating. You understand that? Don't resist. I'm going to stop. Oh, you're you're stop. Score one count of obstruction. No. Yeah, stop. You already messed stop. up. Stop, man. We're 15 once. You're not wrong. Stop. Wrong. Stop. Ten you one. did this. Ten That's one. on you. That is not on the Deputy's coming from 1300 block of Midwest. You're in cuffs. I don't know why you're doing that. No, you can just... I'm sorry. You're all right. I'm sorry. Bro. I mean, I just don't, I don't know her issue. I'm so embarrassed. I don't. I tried. Was the child inside the car? You grabbed the car. You grabbed the kid? Yeah, I watched him get the kid out of the car. Yeah, I did. Because I was pulling Okay, get the child's information? Yeah. Are you, I guess your mom? Grandma. Yeah. Grandma? Yeah. I had no clue. I saw it on the way and I called. So no, he was doing it, but he was supposed yeah, to. Yeah, no, I know. She started rolling and I didn't want her to. No, I know. I called Sergeant on the way over here. Because I saw the return. I got way too much emotion. Mm. Dad, relax. Come on. Hey, I got no part of none of this. Okay? <laughs> Officers learned the driver is the girlfriend of a sergeant causing a conflict of interest. So here's what's going to happen. When there's a conflict of interest, they're going to call in a different agency. And in this particular instance, they call in the sheriff's department. The sheriff's department will take over the investigation. Officers handed the investigation to the sheriff's office. Because last time we got into an altercation with her, she refused to get out of the car for like 30 minutes. I told her, uh, due to there being people there, you need to get out of the car. She's like, I'm not getting out. So at that time I pulled her out. Uh, she kind of tussled, fought with us a little bit and she was placed in the, in the handcuffs. There was an infant inside the car at the time when all this happened. Grandma has the, the child now. Mm -hmm. Officer Olenek is running the grandma through Sky to make sure that the child can get released to uh, to grandma. Okay. okay. So she's in cuffs right now. Uh, obviously, it's a conflict for us because it's uh, Sergeant White's uh, well, girlfriend, wife. I don't know. Okay. So the fact that there's a minor in the car enhances the offense. So whatever just the DWI would have been is now enhanced because of the fact that there's a minor in the in the vehicle. Significant other, I don't know. I don't know what you would call it. Okay. You got it. Okay, thank All right. you. All right. Thanks, bud. Don't need anything from us? So when you got here and you guys started, right, you pulled her out, who pulled her out of the vehicle? I, I grabbed her and pulled her out. Because she refused to, she refused to give, uh, listen to my commands. And then I was, in, I was afraid that she was going to pull forward because uh, we're... We we're trying to find the key fob to remove it from the vehicle so it couldn't get mobile. Because, I mean, if you go see her vehicle, I mean, it's close it's to the house. Yeah. yeah, it's facing the house. And that was my fear that she was going to drive forward and possibly hit somebody inside of the house. So she was, you were telling her, get out? Yeah, I was and saying, then she you're going to get out of the car. She's like, no, I'm not getting out. And then that's, that's when I grabbed her uh, left arm. And then I pulled it. She, she kind of buckled to her legs or like to her knees. I picked her up. And then I think that at that time she started putting her nails in my, in my fingers and my. I don't, no. okay. I'll just take oh, pictures yeah. of those. You wanna um, speak? Uh, you know the CYP? Huh? You know the report to CYP? No, I'm gonna call them. Okay. I, I'm on the phone. You're gonna call them right now. With Sky or CYP? Sky right now. I haven't seen in a while. I know. Okay, I'll take the picture. Anything else? Uh, it's the only thing I can see. Just right here. Mm -hmm. Hello, Deputy Sanchez with the Lee County Sheriff's Office. Are you okay? Do you need medics to come see you? No. Okay. Okay, so they're going to switch out the cuffs, okay? So you have someone from up north for you? No, I'm taking it. Okay. Yeah. Can you move out the way? 
Come on, Davis. Come on, Tiffany. Can I pull some? Yeah. SFTs, standard field sobriety tests. Look, if you're impaired or you've been drinking and you don't know whether you could successfully complete those tests, don't take them. Because all that does is it just gives them video evidence of you stumbling around so that in case that there's a problem with the test or the test results are thrown out of court, they still have the video of you falling down drunk so they can show a jury, look, they're impaired. You don't need a test. If you don't take the field sobriety test, what will happen is they will take you into custody and they will take you to the police station where they will administer a data matter, data master test. That's what the consequence of not taking the FSTs is. You just go and take the test at the station. That test you need to take because failure to take that test is a crime in Minnesota and many other states. I'm still talking to her. I'm still talking to her. If you guys want to go that way, I'm sorry. Thank you, guys. Hey, Desiree. So, obviously, we know you were driving, right? And I can clearly smell that you were drinking. I don't know your whole situation. I don't know what's going on. But I just wanted to ask you, do you want to submit to some tests to see if you're fit for, to drive? This whole idea, the police will tell you that they want to test you to make sure you're fit to drive. Clearly, she's not fit to drive. Just be aware. What was that? No? Okay. Okay, that's fine. Um, What's your name? It's Sanchez. Evie's? What is it? Evie's. No. That's a different officer. Yeah. Why? Do you want that officer? No. Is there something with that officer? Okay. This is an important part for the rest of the story, so I'll just clue you in. This um, deputy's name is Sanchez, and there apparently is another officer somewhere named Sanchez. And the defendant in this case has misidentified this Sanchez for a Sanchez that she has a particular issue with, which will unfold. I don't, yeah, I'm not that, I'm not the officer that you think I am. Okay. kicked okay so we score another obstruction and another felony kicking the officer fourth degree assault she's kicking yeah 
good? Yeah, I'm good. We're charging for today. battery also. Oh, okay. So you have both, both, can I have my granddaughter and my husband picked up my grandson from Okay. Okay. She was due at seven. Okay. Hi. <laughs> yes, ma'am. She's going to be going to the sheriff's, uh, well, we're going to take over the sheriff's department. Um, she'll be going to county and Lovington, yes, sir. So um, she'll probably have to be detoxed, so that's a 12-hour detox. And then once she's done with the detox, um, it's going to be new charges, so she'll have to see a judge. Okay? So after the 12 hours, she's able to make a phone call. But during the 12 hours, she has to... No contact, just detox, yes, ma'am. Well, because I'll be at work. Okay, so yeah, more than likely. What time is it now? 7.30, what time? Yeah, so yeah. probably like noonish, 11 even. Okay, yes, ma'am. All right, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. I would say not only detox, but until she blows zero, a judge is not going to talk to her. So she's going to be stuck without being able to see a judge until she sobers up. Because there's nothing that can be done in court with someone who's not of sound mind. Do you mind if I look in it? You do anything you need I to do. I just wanted to get your No free range. Have, your, have at it. And if I yeah, take like, really? like the container Do whatever or you need to do, you have my permission. <laughs> get after it. Okay. I was already at home. I'm tracking her, and I'm like, where are you at? She said she was on I was like, well, you need to get over there and get your son. So she wasn't responding. I'm like, this is kind of weird. Like, she was on the phone, but she wasn't saying anything. And so I asked her, have you been drinking? She didn't say nothing. I was like, okay, tracking the phone, tracking the phone. I hear a call come out, and they described my car. I don't know my 28, but I know my car, if you describe it to me. I'm driving down this way. I see Solomon Park down there, and I'm like, why ain't he doing nothing? Because she was right here where my car is. Look, she was like this. She was at this angle, facing that way, right where the car was resting. She was right here. So I swing around and I pull up next to her and I said, hey, man, turn the car off because I didn't know if she had the baby or not. My focus was to get the car stopped to get the baby out. If you drive off and you crash, that's on you. But Solomon saw it. She started rolling forward and I said, stop her. She was rolling just like not accelerating, but, you know, if you got your car in drive and you just mm -hmm. come off the brake, you'll start rolling. So she she literally just... rolled from here to right there. I ran up. I, I have a theory. If someone passes out, they also take their foot off the brake, and they also don't control the car. And she is at such a high alcohol concentration, she probably just passed out. I the door open. I put the car in park. I turned it off. I didn't see the key fog, but I have my spare. I keep my spare in my, in my unit. Watch your road. Yeah, watch back, bro. I put it in park. I turned the car off. I didn't say a word to her. I ran around the other side because I could see baby's feet. So I'm trying to think before she gets the conscious effort to try to put this car back in drive or turn it on. I run around. I grab the baby. And then I ran right up to her mom. And I was like, take the baby. Olenek rolls up. He was like, Sarge, we got it. I said, please deal with that. And I backed up. The only reason I'm here is because this motherfucker wouldn't answer the phone. So I'm tracking and I'm like, something ain't right. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I was right. So when you went to the driver's seat, you obviously smelled alcohol coming from her. I'm a recovering alcoholic, so I have a hard time smelling. The only thing this nose is good for is beer and whiskey. I can smell those too. Well, that, how did she seem? Because you've dealt with She just sat there, times. just like this. Didn't, she did not say a word to me, okay. but I didn't really give a shit what she was saying. I was just trying to get the car in park, turn it off, and get to the baby. Bro, yeah. this is too much. I'm just trying to get home to my baby. Oh, you don't understand what happened a while ago, but yes, it is too much. So, uh -huh. I'll just wait till he gives me the numerics, and then I'll transport her and see where we go, see if she gets more charges or not, so... Officers begin transporting the suspect to jail. Alright, Desiree, we're gonna run the test, okay?
Were you going to run the test or not? Yeah? Well, we got to get off here so we can run the test. Well, unfortunately, that can't happen. So, are you going to run the test or not? Well, we read to you what happens if you don't. They're going to take away your New Mexico license driving privileges, and then they're also going to have a greater sentence that could be imposed on you in court. Take the test or not, so we can get you over to the jail. You're not going to take the test? So you're refusing to take the test? We can't take you home. No, we can't. So listen up. This is going to be the last time I tell you. You've already been read in flight consent five times. Are you going to take the test or not? If you say anything other than a yes or a no, that's your answer is no. If you say yes, then we'll get you in here and we'll take the test. Those are your options. All right, let's get off so we can go and take the test. Let's just run inside. No, we're going it's in. She's not doing She's not going. We're not doing anything. It's a conflict. So first of all, look, we're not going to argue. We can put you back in the unit and take you right to jail. So okay. we're the ones. She's just getting the door for us. She's just getting the door for us. We're just going there. We're going to do the test. Let's He's go. doing everything. He's doing it's a conflict. Test. So I'm going to run the test, Desiree. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, so let's go. He's running it. I'm going to do She's holding so the door for us. Go ahead. She's holding the door. I'm not going to be in there. She's just holding the door for us so we can go inside. I can't do both. I can't. Victor, it's a conflict. Well, she's not here, so it's not a conflict. Well, she opened the door since she was here. Just let me know, please. We can't do that. If I pass, if so, I don't pass this time. You said you were going to take the test. Kids. Right now we're here. Now it's time to take the test, I'm okay? I'm telling you. If I Desiree. Fail, I will not have my Okay, kids. if the machine tones out, we're going to take it as a refusal. And we're just going to take you right over to the jail. Okay, I do have some compassion for this woman. Obviously, she has an alcohol problem. She's making the problems worse just because of her alcohol consumption. And... Her children are on the line, and it sounds like this may not be the first time because she's already aware of the fact that failing this test is going to have some repercussions with her children. And maybe this is what she needs to actually get some help, get rid of the alcohol, get her life back together, stop being a dumbass. Big blow. Just take a big, big blow. Breathe in real big. Keep going. Please, Victor. We still need this second test before we can figure everything out. Yeah, so the procedure is when you get to the station, they're going to give you a test. The test has two samples. First, your first sample is then cleared. A diagnostic test is run. And then you give a second sample. And those two samples are compared with each other to make sure that they're within tolerance. And then there's a reported value of the combination between the two tests. So in a second, you're going to do the same thing you did already. Same thing. The suspect's breath test was 0.36 BAC, 4.5 times over the legal limit. Where are we going? To the jail. I don't want to. Well, we have to. I want to go home. So Desiree, Please. we're going to go now. If we go home, I'm going to press charges on you. Okay, that's fine. Especially that's because fine. I have evidence. That's okay, fine. that's fine. That's fine. By the way, threatening to sue the police never impresses them, and it actually makes you look like a fool. If you really have something to sue the police for, wait, talk to a lawyer, get the evidence, but that's never going to work when you're with the police. You can see how impressed they are with that. Come well, on, we have to take you to the jail. No. You okay, Desiree, so... Let me tell you... Stop that. Yes. None of that needs yes. to happen right now. No. Okay, no, it doesn't. Going to. So no. we're going to escort you if you don't stand no. up. Yes, I'm we are. I'm not going to be another victim. No. You're not a victim. All right, Sanchez. 
He told me everything. No, he told me everything. Okay. I don't have a a good one either. He told me he f***ed her. Okay, and that's their business. So stop. No, I'm not going to stop. And because she doesn't stop, she's likely to initiate an investigation against her significant other if, in fact, there is anything to this. That's not good for the family plan. No. I will have the whole case. No. You're about to catch it up. Okay, so we're going to put you in there if you don't go in there. Desiree, you need to listen. Victor, take me home. No, can't do that. Victor. So listen. You're going to listen now, Desiree. All right. Let's go. How does he does Let's I'm not go. Let's go. I can't listen to you. Wait. Put your legs in, Desiree. Right there. Desiree, I'm gonna go around and put you in. Desiree, okay. just get in there. Shut the f up. Just get in there. Nobody's They're talking trying to you. To transport you. Shut the f up. Just get in. Ow! Get him. That's not me. That's Pudro. Oh, Obstruction number three. We're up to three obstructions and two felony assaults. All right, I got you, bud. Are you okay? I don't want to go home, please. Okay. Right now, you're not going to be able to go home. Okay? Please, let me go home. All right. I just need you to calm down. You are not going to go home. But I need you to go home. You are not. Please. Well, I'll, I'll sue the shit out of that officer. Okay, that's fine. But right now... He okay. yanked me out okay. and hit my head. And I'll sue the shit out of him. All right. I'm going to. Right now, if you don't comply, I need to go home. You'll get shot. Please. Okay. I need to go home. I'm letting you know I can't let you go home. You're arrested. All right. <laughs> so, do you have a seatbelt on you? My husband is a lot of white. Okay. I will raise hell. <laughs> I need you to come on here for me. Stop. I need you to come on. Don't listen to me. Don't. Okay. I'm going to ask you one more time. Are you going to get out? I need to go home. You're not going to go home right now. I have to. Please. I have to go home. Okay. You got your seatbelt on or is it off? Come on. It's off. But listen. You can talk to me here. I have to go home. Okay. Let's talk to me. I can't do this. Come on. Here. Go ahead. No, I can't. It's easier if you come, you follow the instruction and come out. I'm just telling you I can't. Okay, I'm going to tell you one more time. Why can't you? Are you intoxicated at this time? No? Okay, we'll help you. Come on. Scoot the officers way. are willing to help you, so I suggest the you go officers? that way. For the third uh, no, time, I'm asking off. you, are you going to get off? No? Okay. I need no, you to get off. No, hey, hey, Come on, ow. Stand up. <laughs> come on. The suspect was charged with aggravated DWI, abuse of a child, two counts of battery upon a peace officer, three counts of resisting, evading, or obstructing an officer, reckless driving, open container, and driving on roadways lane for traffic. At this time, the suspect's court case is still ongoing. Well, thanks to Real Body Cams, that was some uh, excellent footage that we're able to dissect. And, uh, Couple lessons here. Number one, be cooperative with the police. Number two, don't give the police any additional information. Number three, call an attorney as quickly as you have the opportunity. Number four, don't be a dumbass. From the Wolf Graham Worldwide Headquarters here in downtown Minneapolis, this is Wolf Six Out. See you next time.